Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, whatever time you just happen to watch this video. I just wanted to come on real quick and just share a quick word about being at your best. You know, because when you're at your best, you're at the best that you know to do right now until you know and can do greater. Because it's like, it's like a time slot to, that only God knows that when you can develop develop into that person of being greater and being better than being the best you that you know how to be right now because it's almost like a, a, a mind transformation you know your mind has to be reconditioned you know in order to let go of the old things so you can embrace the new things that God desires to give you and that you desire to have because we can pray and pray all day but until we start putting the actions um towards making that change we're just going to remain the same that's why the bible says um faith without works is dead you know you can sit around and say you're going to do this and that if you want to but until you make a move or like my man young mc said bust a move ain't nothing gonna happen so that's why i just enjoy being where i'm at right now on the way to where i'm going joyce meyer's got a book about that and it's a good read so i recommend you know anybody that's looking to be a better you outside of being the best you you know to read that you know george myers got some good books you know the battlefield of the mind is a good one if you want to um go psychologically go go the psychological route when it comes to change and bettering yourself well that's the that's the ticket right there the main key to changing is is psychologically changing and getting your mind right and being ye transformed by the renewing of your mind because it's like I talk to a lot of people and I'm like, whoa, you really think like that? You know, and it's like, man, I, I, I'm not surprised at the world being in the shape it, it's in right now because everybody that's in position to help somebody, they need help, you know, whether it be in government or uh, the school system, the system, you know what I mean? Because everything... It operates in a system. You know, I said that in my video yesterday, uh, a previous video. Everything is systematic outside of the kingdom of God. Because the kingdom of God, I mean, it's a system too, but it's just basically uh, based off biblical principles. And the thing about um, it, and it's all about knowing and getting to know God. Even though we won't fully know God and understand him because his ways are not our ways. And so it's like, once you recognize the biblical principles that you have to walk in and get to know God, you will um, understand that God changes up the memo sometime. You know, even when you are being the best you, you know how to be. You know, just like when Abraham was going to kill his son Isaac, you know, he was going to sacrifice him. You know, had he not known God's voice, he would have killed his son. And so... God would have had to go all the way back to the drawing board. You know what I mean? And and him have another son. I don't know how God. I'm just saying that out of my uh, thinking. So don't try to be uh, politically correct. Nah, the Bible doesn't say that. I know the Bible don't say that. But anyway, but when Abraham heard, Abraham, stay your hand. Mm -hmm. Don't do no harm to this child. He didn't do no harm to the child. And so that's why it's so important to understand God's voice. You know, that in order to understand his voice, you have to understand him and operate on biblical principles and to have the spirit and operate in the, and um, be led by the spirit. Like the Bible says, only those who are led by the spirit of God are the sons of God. And, you know, and so it's like once you understand all this, you know, a better you will come and play. So I just want to share that real quick. Be blessed. Peace.